Yeah, I think, you know, the key thing for him, every phase we've gone through, he's improved. And he uh, you know, had a really good spring a year ago, had a good camp last year. And it was a close call between the two quarterbacks. And, uh, you know, he's continued to improve. So certainly this spring, it was a big spring for him. Thought he really uh, continued to move forward. And we're, we're confident he'll play well the next two years. Thank you. I just wanted to ask you about something you said back in January. Um, mm -hmm. You talked about how you thought the state of the program was similar to when it was uh, in your third year, which was a big turning point in the program, actually. I was wondering if you could kind of expand on that a little bit. You know, we've gone through a lot of change, and uh, I guess that's one of the things that happens if you stay somewhere uh, as long as we've been here. So uh, it's probably not unnatural. You know, certainly uh, Norm, it was time for Norm to retire. He was at that point with some health issues, and Ken got an opportunity that was exciting to him. So. If you think about the, the movement uh, that began when those two guys left us, and uh, you know just how things have turned, turned over in some ways. You know we've got a uh, pretty much a new staff over the last couple of years, so uh, it's a little bit like uh, you know going through a regeneration, if you will. And you know hopefully uh, I think we're all on the same page right now, and you know we can uh, move forward and progress. So it's just a matter of having a whole group of players that are kind of used to being taught a certain way and. Being on the same page, and yeah, you know, we had really unusual continuity. We had uh, whatever it was, 12, 12 years, I think, of the same coordinators, um, you know, being together with uh, Chris Doyle, Ken, and, and Norm. You know, the three of those guys. Now Chris has been the only common denominator, and Phil Parker's been here from day one, but uh, it hasn't been a coordinator since that that entire time. I guess it was more than 12 years, right? 2012. So whatever that was, do the math, 13 <laughs> years or whatever. But uh, anyway, we were together for a long time. And I think like the last couple of years, you know, we've certainly been through some transition. But, um, you know, there, there's uh, teamwork that is really important on a coaching staff. I saw that here when I was in the 80s. And you know, I think we're all, you know, on the same page. And I think we're, we're moving in the right direction. Going back to that 2001 season, was that a season you can point to and say you really thought things were going to take off at that point? Or? You never know how it's going to go. You know, uh, never will make a prediction. But you know, clearly, uh, even the first year it was disappointing. But we, we can play it hard and competed and uh, learned how to practice. And I thought we improved in 2000. Uh, you know, particularly at the end of the year, we started seeing some uh, rewards for uh, the way guys were working. And then 2000, uh, one, we didn't say any records, but it was a really fun, enjoyable year because it was our first bowl game uh, with the, the staff. And, um, you know, to win the bowl game is always a special thing, too. So and that kind of was a springboard for the next year and a uh, pretty good run of success. So, you know, but every year is really, uh, you know, independent of the other ones. And I think the big thing really in my mind since 2001, we've had a chance to have a good football team each and every year for the most part, not not totally, but for the most part. And we sit in that position again right now. So really the key thing is what we do with the opportunities in front of us. Yeah, in those first couple of years you were here, you had some guys playing on the offensive line and maybe even the defensive line who really shouldn't have been playing in the Big Ten physically. You know, and we're, we're breaking in a couple of tackles right now uh, offensively, certainly, and then same thing on defense. And But if you compare it to you know year one where we had Bruce Nelson at maybe 250 uh, right. playing left tackle for us, and, and Stein, Steinbach got to 250 somewhere in there in October. We threw him right out there as soon as he did. You know, so we're not quite back at that stage. Um, you know, it's, it's probably a little bit more like when Gallery got thrown in. You know, we threw him in in, in Indiana, I believe it was in 04, moved him from tight end to, to tackle. At least he was bigger. Um, but so, you know, it's, just, it's the same thing. We always have players that we're breaking in and trying to get them ready and get them caught up as fast as they can so they can have success on the field. But at least we're doing it with guys that are a little bit more mature and you know a little bit more right. physically able than, than maybe that first year or two.